staff is there like family. Oh, yeah. Get fired up! We're gonna win if you knock on every door. What the hell's he doing, Teddy? This is great! I should probably lay off the gym. <laughs> Pretty nice life. I have a great job. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm never going to be able to do this again in my whole life. So why not have a good time while I'm doing it? My, my relationship with the senator certainly has it, it, gotten stronger. We've spent a lot of time together. Uh, we've traveled thousands of miles. We, we've been through a lot. <laughs> Marvin's pretty good. Anyway, let's go. Ready to go? Yeah. Next time, I'm throwing the hard stuff. Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring it on! I thought we were doing a balloon drop, but if you look carefully, you can see that it was a balloon rise. Super Tuesday. You know, there's a lot of anticipation. You know, things look good. And he thought that people all across this country wouldn't notice what's really happening in our country when the American people are desperately looking for answers, solutions, and leadership. Word on the street is, Loftus is a bad kisser. I don't think it's true, Not just personally. The most he just gets people. drunk. That's why we're here at the University of Akron to mark the beginning of the end of the Bush administration. I'll give it to his aide, Marvin, if that's okay, all right? He'll make sure he gets it. This big, tall galoot right here. It's fun to turn the TV on and see something good being said about him or can read a good article about him. That didn't happen so much back in November and December. John Sarberling said his request. Who? Her name's Miss Cologne. And she's from the Puerto Rican city. Hello, this is Fran. We are having a rally in East Harlem um, on Friday. Saturday. Seth, are you ready? Seth and I can both attest that meetup this past summer had some interest. There were maybe about 20 to 25 people. And then... <laughs> and then we had a meetup in our office after Iowa. And it was 150 people. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm here for a carry. Sure. It's yeah. right downstairs. There's a coat check under the stairs. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We have, we have a big little bit. Oh, good. Yeah, Agent, so I can say Agent Americans for Carrier yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> Great. Good, good, good. I now want to introduce Fran Lawless from the Carry campaign. Woo! Hi, everyone. I'm Fran Lawless. I'm just excited that all of you guys are here tonight. Um, I've been on this campaign since April. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. John Kerry is coming to New York City. He will be in Brooklyn on Saturday night. I don't know exactly when <laughs> or exactly where yet, but he will be here. And we're going to be having a town hall meeting. We want, we want old Clark supporters. We want Dean supporters. We want, we want you know, Nader, Nader leaners. <laughs> we, want, we want all of you. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a time for all of us to to get together and rally behind him because he's going to become the president if we all do this. He really is. New York is a battleground. So if you can own the media here in New York and own the story, it's going to have a big relevance. I have to go back to work. Okay, okay, thanks. You guys, all the artists, we're going to try to have a quick last minute meeting in five minutes. 
We are the Democration Project. And as a sovereign organization, we have chosen to endorse Dennis Kucinich. Dennis will go on, and then we are going to parade down the aisles. And we're going to have to move slowly because the stilt walkers are going to lead the event. That's all, folks. Like, let's see what happens. <laughs> I take a lot of responsibility with the project. I'm making sure that we're on time, that everyone is where they need to be with what they need in their hands to help make the magic happen. Great. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for being here. Yeah, we're going to operate down. Okay, okay. So, okay, so Dennis is about to be I felt this need in my heart for change in this country. And I had no idea who Dennis was. And as soon as I heard about him, I was hooked on him. And I was hooked on getting out his message. We need to make peace center stage in America. We need to make this what our national dialogue and our national purpose is about. Not war. A whole new direction. Imagination and creativity. Those are the things that keep me going. It's all about having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, study warm. Back in hot land. Thank you very much. These guys are going to go 15 to 20. We're going to bring the Band of Brothers in and get them on stage. And then we're going to just keep going through this thing. That's great. You know, this is when it moves. Five minutes. How are the electives coming? Are they? Yeah, they're, they're pretty much here to ride. I think we had actually arrived early. So our challenge there was to try to start the program a little earlier. So we were working with the advanced staff, seeing if there were, the program participants were there, making sure the press was in place the way it should have been. We've got to get this stage a little tighter. Do it. Go through the event with him again, make sure he's ready. We get to the event, make sure he knows what he's doing. closer and closer to becoming a possible nominee. We go to more places and we have bigger crowds. It's neat to sort of look ahead as well as ref reflect for a split second uh, where we were. This is the one that says for peace. At the debates, everybody goes wild. The energy is so high and all of the other candidates, representatives are there and see the work that we're doing and feel it. People want to dance. People want to celebrate and unite. Hey, ho, ho! Bush and Cheney has got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Bush and Cheney has got to go! Boy, these CNN guys really know how to put on a party, don't they? Rocky Thor, 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 Rocky
Oh, this has a sort of post-apocalyptic uh, parade feel to it. It's really kind of nice. What do you think? You ready? See you later. And so Americans don't yet have a choice. I mean, we're vying for the nomination. But that's Once right. we have a nominee, this country will have an opportunity to hear a positive vision of how we can offer hope to Americans. Oh, Get my good side, will you, my friend? Don't be a weasel. Don't you snipe at me. No sniping. Hello, brother. How you doing? Masum Ka. Go to the center. The old Sam Myers. This is Sam Myers, the legend. The great part of the Washington Post. The only one. Wait a second. A lot of people say the Tom Selleck. Sam and I, we go back to the... We shared a cell in prison. He did. Which, which country? Uh, I forget where it was. Morocco. Morocco. It was Morocco. It was Morocco. Yeah. Do you have ridiculous. to touch me? Am I touching you? Because you're touching me, and I'm real uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's good. There we go. No, 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 no. Sorry. Thanks. Want to take it inside? Uh, now I'm aroused. You want to, uh... <laughs> <laughs> <We're right now>. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. It's Saturday night, we're four days out from Super Tuesday, and John Kerry is going to Brooklyn uh, to speak at a town hall. More VIPs have been showing up than we expected. We have Carl McCall, who is our former New York State controller. A surprise visit from Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley's right there. Emily? Christy? I plan Tomorrow. to do what I can. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. What's the timetable look like? Well, the timetable looks like right now, like, uh, John Kerry will be here in about 10 minutes or so. And so he'll uh, come in and we'll do a, the same thing that we did in Queens. We have about 20 people in there, about 36 seats out there. Are these being saved for anyone? Would you ladies be interested in sitting up on the stage? They want me to make an announcement so they can see how many seats we have available. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Sound guy. Here we go. Okay, you're hot. Hi, folks. Thanks for being patient. If you could please find a seat for those of you who are standing. We want to let as many people in to see the next president of the United States. I don't know if you noticed, but on my jacket as I came out here, I had a great big Brooklyn pin. If a guy from Boston, I put up with a lot to get here. I wish you had Thank you so much. Thank you. Hand some out of your subway stop or hand them in your building. That'd be great. Remind your friends to vote for John Kerry. Please hand that out. If you're not going to hand it out, don't take it. Today is Super Tuesday. I'm finally getting to vote for the guy who I have been working for for 11 months. And we have 10 states that are in play today, New York being one of them. We're down to four candidates, John Edwards, Dennis Kucinich, Al Sharpton, and of course John Kerry. In terms of the results, I'm just hoping for a win. Today is Super Tuesday. It's a beautiful sunshiny day here. Do visibility in front of the polls and talk to anyone going in who's undecided. Hi. You guys gonna vote today? Today's the day to vote. Hi guys. First of all, are you guys voting today? Are you guys registered? Um, Yes, I am voting today. Yeah, awesome. But I'm, I'm not sure about this guy. What's his position in the points? Because this is in the primary, polls? right? Yeah, today's the primary. He's right now, he's third. 
And so if he doesn't win, does he have plans to try to run again? Is this an ongoing campaign? He's creating a movement. This is yeah. much bigger than just a candidacy. A He's the only candidate who wants to bring the troops home from Iraq and put the United Nations in. And this was actually one of the most important issues that was brought up in the last debate. And basically, Edwards and Kerry were there like, like, on, on toes because Kucinich confronted them on the fact that basically they were going to keep the war going. This is just the beginning of a lot to come with this candidate. How you doing? Greg Hale, nice to meet you. Greg. My name's Greg Hale. I'm the Deputy Communications Director. Basically in charge of trying to make sure the center looks good on television. How strong is this stuff? This is pretty strong, if you ask me. I'm trying to get this flag draped across here. Good time you have to have everything ready to go by. Uh, six. Perfect world, six o'clock. Uh, what time is it now? It's 4.30. We got the site about 24 hours ahead of time. And so we didn't have much time to set that up. Heads up! Jesus Christ. 6.45? Well, he can be on site, but he can't, he's not going to be able to be on stage because we're not going to have any people in here. So make sure that Mary Beth and everyone's clear on that. that We'll be prepared for him to arrive here, but everyone just needs to be aware that that's we're not we can't speak that early. So. Do y'all have sandbags? Any other numbers coming back now? Or? No. It looks like we're sweeping all the states and we're tight in Georgia, so we'll see. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold up. Hold up. Looks good, huh? Yeah, we just gotta get people here now. I'm impressed with these guys. They, uh, this is hard stuff to pull off, and it's a very hard site. It's a beautiful site, and it's very hard to work effectively. You know, credit where credit is due. That's a that's a great advance operation. Okay, great. Okay, guys, we're going to a place. You'll want to hear this. We're not going right this second. Hold it. Stand by. It is a non-happy place. You cannot smoke there. Not that you even smoke. Racking. Okay, we're moving. Hear that, guys? AP saying Edwards is out. This is a extraordinary advocate for causes that all of us believe in. More jobs, better health care, a cleaner environment, a safer world. These are the causes of our party. It was a solidifying moment for the campaign. It led, obviously, to Senator Edwards withdrawing from the race. I don't know if it's a sort of psychic defense mechanism on my part, but I'm not allowing myself to go, wow, we've clinched it. I will feel that way on election night if we win. We must set a record. The polls were closed for 15 seconds, and John <laughs> Kerry won the election. Oh! Hey, how are you? How's the flight? A woman of the hour. I am feeling... Great. John Edwards actually conceded tonight, but we are looking forward to the general election, and we have a lot of work to do, but we're celebrating tonight. One copy, I, I will. We have a meeting. We're doing the same thing they're doing now. We're still be doing raids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, we are two minutes or less. Thank you, thank you all who have truly made this a super 
two stacks. I have three more for him, and I know he understands. Hi, Mom. Love you, too. Yeah, I sure will. All right, take care. Bye, Mom. Our standing behind me, the greatest campaign staff in America, the greatest group of volunteers. It's the great unknown, I guess, from here on out. Definitely want to be involved in the Do It the Carry campaign in some capacity. And what that is, you know, we'll, we'll find out hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Cool. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Good, how are you? Good to see you, too. The Democration Project is going to head off for a summer festival tour. That's what's next up for us. It's going to work to help serve this country and help serve this world. It's about people talking to people and uniting along their common aspirations. And so uh, you're helping to make that process. You're helping to create it. You're helping, that's why you're called Democration. Yeah. You're creating democracy, and I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Dennis, it's been such a pleasure Thank working you with much. you. Thank, Thank you, you for all the help and uh, look forward to seeing yeah, you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Blessings. Okay. Lincoln's Gettysburg speech. Four score and seven years ago. It's been done. Maybe I should bust in. But now we have an administration that is marching the clock backwards. And we need to reclaim our own democracy in the United States of America. And make a difference. All across this country. Duty calls. We'll have to come back to this next time.